9.30 in the morning. Gotta love starting this car. Hope y'all don't get used to that cold start, because that, that's it. That's the last, probably the last time I will be doing a cold start with the stock exhaust setup on video. Of course, the car's still in normal mode. When you, even in normal mode, when you do a cold start, it opens the valves wide open. The only way to solve that is you have to go into quiet mode. I was actually surprised at the number of revs I ended up giving people yesterday at Cars and Coffee. Today is Sunday, by the way. So people really did like the way this car sounds, and I told them I've got the X-Pipe coming, so if I ever go to Cars and Coffee again, it'll sound even better. But, I guess that was, well, I kind of spoiled it to myself. I was going to say it, I'm going to finally reveal what resonator delete I ended up going with. The car's probably going to beep at me for this, because i got to... I decided, yes, to go with an X-Pipe. More specifically, I decided to go ahead and go with the Steeda X-Pipe. We'll show it off a little bit here. I'm really happy with the quality of these welds on this pipe. This thing just looks amazing. Can't wait to finally have it put in the car. Now, why did I decide to go with that? Let's go ahead and move inside the car. Have some better audio here. So why did I decide to go with the Steeda X-Pipe? Well, first of all, I went with an X-Pipe because plain and simple, I like the sound better. And if I had done a poll and said, which one should I do, it would have been about 50-50 with the people with the different responses I got. Now, a lot of you said, or not really a lot of you, there's a, there's a few of you, a good handful of you that said go with an H-Pipe. H-Pipes produce that kind of low-end growl kind of that old-school muscle sound versus an X-Pipe, which produces a high-end bark, which is kind of the more new-school sound. And, you know, there was people who was 50-50 shot on that. Now, now, now I know some of y'all are going to be mad that I went with an X-Pipe, but personally, I really like the high-end bark more. I like the sound of an X-Pipe better. Plain and simple, it just sounds more aggressive, it sounds more race car like. Just things that I like. And I was saying, you know, I wish this car had just a little more rasp. Not ricer raspy, but just enough kind of to, to have that tone, that aggressiveness. I personally like it. So, and Steeda is really good quality. That's why I decided to go ahead and go with Steeda. Everyone I talked to said Steeda makes A plus quality parts. And then on top of that, it was on sale, so I got that for 130 bucks. So, I'm pretty happy with it thus far. It's not on the car yet, obviously. I'll be much happier with it if it's on the car. Anyway, I'm going to pick this video up once I'm on the way to the dealer to go ahead and get this installed. So, I'll see you all then. Alright, it's the next day. Honestly, I don't know how some of these YouTubers do the whole next day vlog type thing but a few intersections away i'm currently stuck at a red light like always around here in tampa we got a bridge coming up nice long interstate underpass which is great so I'll kind of get a good before clip and then i'm gonna take this way home and get a good after clip of this x pipe installed i'm pretty excited for this because i get that new school sound i know some people said go with an h pipe for that old school sound it's a great sound don't get me wrong I want that new school sound I want it to sound like a modern car although I still do love the sound of the old school Ford motors and that's one thing I really love about this car is it retains some of the sound that the old car has always had Try to clear this intersection Let's see I don't want to hit this too fast we're gonna hit this third gear. Actually, hey, let's go ahead and do second gear. I'll scare the crap out of these people, probably. Well, his head's turned. I see everyone looking like, yep, yeah, that's me. What? Alright. We're at the last intersection here. Just gotta pull into the service department. I hope my appointment went through because today's Monday and I originally had the appointment for Thursday 
God, and they got this nice lineup of 18 Mustangs just waiting right there. And they, all, they already got a couple of Roushes in there, and they got some Shelbys. This dealer is a Ford Performance dealer. So essentially when Ford tells you that they're going, you know, that you can get something done from Ford and it be covered under warranty, this is actually the type of dealer you have to go to. You have to make sure it's a Ford Performance dealer. So depending on how this goes, I might use this dealer again if I ever get something like a Ford Performance Power Pack done or other sort of Ford Performance parts. It's probably what I will go through. Cause I know this vlog is kind of getting all over the place. Hopefully they will let me film the first startup of the car. So, see you all when I get there. All right, there was no way I was gonna come to a Ford dealer and not check out cars. Roush Stage 2, this thing's pretty nice looking. Guy over there with a Shelby Raptor. Now that's the kind of thing I would have expected to see at Cars and Coffee. Got 10 speed auto, shadow black. Bad looking little car. Over here, just got some regular 18 GTs. Come over here, this part of the lot. Got. 17 Roush convertible. All these loud vehicles driving by. This one, what does it say? 2016. Didn't say much about it. We got 435. It says Roush charge. That's a lie. Let's see if we can find more specs on it. We'll come over here, we got a 17 GT350. Now this one I saw the other day, this is clearly just a GT350. And yet somehow it has an R wing on it. Probably, I don't know if these guys switch trunk lids or whoever, the this previous owner of this car. It even is a, I guess it is a used car on the used side of the lot. Grabber blue, and I think grabber blue is the color. They made a mistake by quit putting to make because I think it looks looks amazing. C6 convertible Corvette. Got another 18 Roush. 10 speed auto. Stage two once again. It's pretty similar. You got one of these I haven't seen one of these in years. I got a saline over here. Yeah 2007 I was about to say my guess would be somewhere like 06 or 07. I need a new windshield banner here, but 300 horsepower again. That's a lie. This is a 281 supercharged. It's 281 for 281 cubic inches. This looks amazing. Trying to figure out what they're selling it for. This used to be my dream car when I was about. I guess I think I was about 11. This was this in a coupe would have been my dream car. It's in my favorite color. Of course, we come over here, we get yet another Roush. Sold. I don't even want to touch this one. This one's Roush charged. Looks like a probably what, 17. Yeah, this one's a 17. Okay, now we're on the good side of the lot here. The entirely Mustang section. This one over here. I want to say this might be my first time seeing Kona Blue this close in person because man it it's a quite deep looking color it's actually much better looking in person than i would have thought it was online is this one a premium no this one's another base it's similar to what i have except this is not a, this isn't a performance pack you got some base miles you got another eco boost now if you were in the market for a sporty little fun car to daily drive you know, 28,000, that's not bad. And of course, you can always negotiate Mustangs. There's always deals on them going around. It's not bad looking little cars. You know, I know EcoBoosts get a lot of crap, and to me, they don't deserve it because I think they're still pretty nice cars. I never own one. I'd always have a GT, but still. It's more EcoBoosts. Here we got another performance pack. If I can. Oh, don't want to scratch. Brand new cars. Oh. 
getting through. Yeah, we got another performance pack here. Let's see this nice spoiler. Just made a comment. I found out these are going for some big money right now. New. So you could probably... If you really didn't like this, I would still say get it. Go to an aftermarket spoiler because you still get the holes. And then you can sell this one and honestly make a profit. Inside here. This is another base. Is this... Yeah, this is a 300A. So this is a proper base model. This is... I am... My car is a 301A because I, I wanted to get active exhaust. MSRP here, they got total out the door with all this extra stuff is 43.5, but realistically, MSRP is so a 41. That's really not bad money. This is a 10 speed auto, too. This is basic 10 speed performance pack. Gray is one of those colors. I, I can't say I'd own it, it's a little bit common, but man, it's actually sharp looking all right service is done let's put the windows down this is it it's the first time i have heard this car with this x pipe on it's already got nice deep tone to it holy crap oh let's see if i can get out of here now This thing already has a nice rumble to it. So if I can get out of here easily. Oh my god, this thing's already loud. Oh, I'm out of this dealership now. idling a lot more now. Oh. This light would turn green so I can finally hear this thing. This is something I legitimately wanted to do but since before I even bought this car. Something I was saying I was going to do. Literally, my first test drive, I said I would love to hear one of these cars with active exhaust with an X-Pipe. Oh. I just, I can't wait already. I just, this light seriously needs to hurry up. Because this, I want to hear this car. Bad. Just this idle alone. Oh, that definitely sounds. Sounds a lot higher pitched right there. Exactly how I thought it was gonna sound, and I'm glad because he's just oh, that sound is amazing. <sighs> it's got me laughing, man, like a little schoolgirl. Knocked my phone over here because how just fast this car. I'll be on the next video, but this weekend I want to get out to my secret filming location and give some revs in all the different modes and hear it. Of course, the big test is I do plan to take this car to work again tomorrow, and I want to listen to the quiet mode start. So I definitely want to make sure quiet mode is not ridiculously loud. So far, it's not overbearingly loud. It definitely changed the tone without completely ruining the exhaust. And so far, I'm happy with it. All of mile and a half or whatever and stuck at another red light. There we go. Ah, oh, these people would go around. God, no one ever wants to hit their gas pedals around here. All right, definitely let me know in the comment section below what you all think about this. I don't know if you 
want to know more, definitely keep staying t stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for the comparison of the different modes. Uh, definitely be giving more of a review. I want to go drive this thing out on the interstate and see how if it drones at all. It's definitely, I'm in track mode right now. So that'll definitely play a big part in the drivability of this car. So let me know in the comment section below what you all think about this. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you are stopping in for the first time, go ahead and subscribe. And like I said, we got more of a sound comparison coming with these, this car in the next week. Anyway, take care. Have a good day.